prior art. In this video I explain what prior art or state of the art means for patents. Hi, I'm Rolf Klesen, I'm partner with Freischirm and Partner and in this video I explain what prior art or state of the art means for patents. How is prior art defined by the European Patent Office? Prior art is everything that is known to the public before the filing date of a patent application by means of oral or written description or any other means. That also includes public prior use of an invention. There is no restriction whatsoever with regard to a geographical extent or the language or the time. Additionally, prior art for assessing novelty of a European patent application can also be an earlier European patent application that has already been filed at the filing date of the European patent application but not published. So if a European patent application has been filed before filing date of a later European patent application but has not yet been published, it can still be prior art for assessing novelty of the later European patent application. A special case for prior art is public prior use. Let's use an example. If you have filed a patent for a windmill and the particular shape of the blade of the windmill is important in the patent in claim one, and the applicant, let's say the company who filed the patent application, has um, shown the blade of the windmill on a publicly accessible parking lot one day or any day before the filing date of the European patent application, then this public prior use can be novelty destroying for this patent application. If the document is in a different language compared to the official languages of the European Patent Office, namely English, German and French, then it needs to be translated. If the examiner or, for example, the opponent is filing a machine translation, this machine translation can only be contested if you can show that there are inconsistencies in the translation or if there are obvious errors in the translation. Then there is another requirement of prior art or state of the art. And that is the requirement of enabling disclosure. That means the prior art document needs to tell the skilled person how to exactly work the disclosure. That means the document needs to teach the skilled person at the date of filing how to practice the technical teaching in that disclosure. So for example, if there is, let's say, a document talking about a warp drive for going to different galaxies, then this cannot be enabling if there are no details how to exactly implement this warp drive. And this document would not be prior art for a patent application protecting such warp drive. I hope I was able to explain what prior art means for patents. If you are new to my channel and want to know more about patents, trademarks or designs, please subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, hit like. I'm answering questions and comments below this video. And most importantly, protect your intellectual property and go make it count.